What if I told you that most router plates you buy come half finished? They arrive at your doorstep expecting you to figure out the rest. No instructions, no necessary accessories, just the plate. But this, this is different. This is not just a router plate, it's the whole package. Everything you need to install and start using it from the moment you open the box. And here is the best part. They're designed to make setup easy. No matter your skill level, because most brands assume you're already a pro. But what if you're a complete beginner? That's exactly why this product was designed. Not just for advanced woodworkers, but for everyone. From total newbies to seasoned professionals. Meet the beginner, just like the designer of this tool when he started. Back then, he was exploring woodworking and needed a router table. But as he experimented, he realized that existing options weren't designed with beginners in mind. That's how this tool was shaped, to make installation intuitive, effortless and frustration-free for everyone. But where did it all begin? It all started with a design studio called USA, specializing in 3D printed woodworking tools. These tools were originally designed by the designer himself to build furniture. But over time, the focus shifted. They got carried away with building tools so much that it eventually overtook the furniture side of the business. What began as a side project became the company's main direction. As the designs became more ambitious, 3D printing was no longer enough and the need for traditional manufacturing emerged. One product in particular, the Router Lift 3.0, became a bestseller. Its popularity proved there was a strong demand in the market, so they decided to take the leap and start building that one first. But manufacturing a physical version turned out to be a nightmare. The goal was to design an affordable $200 router lift using traditional manufacturing methods like CNC milling and injection molding. However, it was too complex of a tool to start with. So, what was the logical step here? Start with something more achievable, a trim router jig, the second best seller. During the design process, one key component was discovered, compatibility. This was achieved through a universal cutout pattern, which also happened to solve a previous project stopping problem, making a lift compatible with different routers. Before this pattern, securing a router to a table required customization for individual routers, driving up costs and making mass production unfeasible. Keeping the price below $200 meant avoiding expensive customization. However, while it fixed compatibility, making it more affordable, it killed a key lifting mechanism feature, changing bits from the top. One of the key functions of a lifting mechanism is allowing bit changes from the top. Without this feature, you would have to remove the router from the table every time you needed to swap bits. So, was it worth adding complex linear bearings and rods to achieve only a half-functional router lift? At this point, it made more sense to eliminate the linear rods and design an entirely new tool. This tool would be compatible with most routers thanks to the affordable cutout pattern. It would also retain the essentials of a router lift, being flush with the table and sturdy, and cost only half of the initial target price. That's how this tool was born. But what if you don't want to lose the second function of lifting a router? Well, that's where things get interesting. There are two ways to secure a router, from the top, which makes it impossible to change a bit, or from the sides, which brings us back to the customization issue. Customization can be solved with the fractal wise mechanism. This makes it very expensive. But what if we don't have a $200 price limit? What if, instead of optimizing for affordability, we focused purely on performance and innovation? That's when the design took a new turn. Without price constraints, we could explore features that were previously out of reach. Advanced mechanics, premium materials and an entirely different approach to lifting precision. That's what happens if we remove all limits. No compromises, no restrictions. That's how the most advanced router lift was created. A tool packed with features never seen before. Have you ever seen a router lift with three different lifting speeds? This complex mechanism allows you to switch between rapid lifts and micro adjustments with just one push. Rapid lift gives you quick movement, while a single push switches the mechanism to precise micro adjustable movements. Now most router lifts don't even have a single dust collection system. Typically, they only collect dust from either the top or the bottom. Even that is rare. But how about a dual exhaust system? You've got it. Breathing MDF particles is not cool at all, it's unsafe. 
A dual exhaust system helps keep the air clean and in a way even prolongs your life. So why save on your health? There is also an easy access spindle lock. No need to crawl under the table or look for another tool. You just use the same one you use for lifting. Simple and seamless. And to top it off, magnetic caps. Same idea, quick release, no screwdriver needed. Just half a turn and it lifts right off. This is how the Odyssey router lift was born. But here's the thing, creating the most advanced router lift was one challenge. Making an affordable version, that's a whole different story. We created a budget friendly router lift. We created the most advanced router lift. But the market still lacks a mid-range, truly affordable router lift. So how do we make it work? By simplifying the high-end version. First, we remove the fractal wise. This brings us back to the customization issue. But we solve it by hiring an employee to handle the customer support. Then, we remove the gear mechanism and the dual exhaust system. This leaves us with the essential router lift features. And that's how the $200 version comes together. I should also mention, this is still a concept prototype. What that means is this router lift is going to evolve into a much more complete tool. Here is a quick look at how some early concepts turned into final versions. If you're curious to see where this one goes, subscribe to follow along. Now we could actually use your help. What features would you include in a router lift you would actually buy? Here is a list of some rough cost estimates, so you can get the feel for how each feature impacts the final price. Drop a comment below or shoot me an email, I would really appreciate it. And that's the story. From a simple need to an innovative solution, this router lift was designed with every woodworker in mind. Whether you are just starting or pushing the limits of precision, there is a version for you. Three tools, one mission, making woodworking frustration free. The only question is, what will you create with it?